confidence rolling, get some momentum. Look Could at be this. a different story. Oh seconds. no, 23 Just Savage, he's a danger. A toss back straight to the rest of Aster. He does have the shrapnel out, will be able to slow him down with the rest of the talent coming in. Aster has to do a quick 180. Retreat on out of here. He's gonna hide away into the trees. Monet is gonna threaten them with the quills. They don't want to stick around for that. And ultimately... The goal is give him the early lead, give him some early kills, and leave him later on. We need to abuse the low levels of Viper, because Viper really wants the level 3, he wants the level 5, that's where this hero turns into the lane bully. He gets the late getting there because he has to play very scared here, where this hero suffers. I don't, I don't think it's something we saw too much in Arlington, but it is something some of these teams are very happy to do. I would have expected this where the Earth Spirit starts top, does the pulling, maybe gets level 2, and then does like a later TP rotation yeah. tank. Uh, starting off like this is a bit curious because it, it does mean a Brewmaster is obviously going to have a bit of a slower start. But also, you pointed out, he leveled Boulder Smash at the start, which I'm not sure if that's your best tri lane ganking ability. I mean, this is basically stop the pull from Baboka. That's all he's doing down here. They are zoning this Viper off, but again, you your Brewmaster is going to suffer. I mean, he's getting XP. He went boots first, so they obviously prepared for the idea. He's going to get a little something. He's running to base ultimate free farm for this bristle the, the scary thing for me is i don't know if you want to try a viper when the enemy has bristle back because this is not the carry you want to give an ultimate free game to you can stack jungle for him you can stack triangle for him you can even stack big, big camp on the lane just accelerate this hero into it absolutely disgusting ags timing and then he just takes over the game right bristle does not is not a hero that cares about necessarily a lot of counters in dota he gets to his items at a good point yeah that's my worry here. Okay, you're going to shut down this Viper a little bit. He's an annoying lane hero. But in terms of the overall game plan, is this going to end up being something that Talon's happy with 10 or 15 minutes down the road? I'm not sure. It's also a question of this mid lane. I feel like a lot of this game is, does this Puck, on, does Ori Puck get 6 before Storm? Can they abuse the Coil Gank on mid? Can you shut down the Storm, put the early levels into him, especially with both of the 4s being roamers here? That's the big question mark for me. So if Earth Spirit's game Q gets slowed down, is he going to be able to make those early moves? AP challenging the Grimstroke a little bit, but Q, he's going to show up now with a Boulder Smash. The slow might just be enough, especially with Ghost coming in, and KP does indeed secure first blood. So that is certainly going to help out what was obviously kind of a rough start for him, going boots first and having to run back to Fountain already once. Very nice kill. As you said, the Ghost Creep getting a... Getting a little assist action there for the neutral jungle. He's looking for the neutral to die, but of course you never get it. Take what you can get. I mean, again, that's boost, Boots first Brewmaster getting that first blood. So, talking about swinging a lane advantage back into Talon's favor, exactly what they're looking for. Even Look the this. extra levels for the Earth Spirit. Trying to interrupt the Storm Spirit. Might have, yeah, oh, they definitely stroke. got the kill. Easily, Ori is going to be able to pick that one up. Really nice use of the combination of this puck. And, oh, nice toss back, Bobica. 23 Radiant's Savage actually has to go for the attack. straight up TP back to tower. So if they can get a kill on him sometime in the next 30 seconds, it would be a massive win. For my coffers. That small camp kill, the stroke did so much damage. Sometimes that small camp stack betrays you a little bit, you know? Maybe <laughs> yeah, some, yeah. some karma action going here. You can stack it. Ends up feeding the stroke some extra damage. So a nice little rotation. Kind of cool to see. He knew the lane was pulled back top. Oh, yeah, making the most out of, out of this early Grim Stroke. Yeah, you know, he gives away first blood, but ultimately he gets a kill on the enemy mid off of that TP rotation. And I, I like, think that's way more influential. Yeah, uh, like, certainly. This is a game where Puck and Storm are going to set the tempos for their team. Especially Storm versus Puck in this particular matchup, I feel, is super dependent on first Dyer's five to ten minutes. Who's getting more runes? Killed. Who gets those solo kills? Oh, and there it is. They did indeed get they the kill onto 23 Savage, so... Uh, his TP is probably going to be on cool. Yeah, for another 25 That's seconds. That's a rough one. That is going to be a rough walk back to lane for him. Think about KP. your sins while you <laughs> yep. slowly. You basically getting that old trialing mid action a little bit. Enemy stack stolen. Looking for the six minute rune. That's going to be the, the next point to Snowball's game here. Looks like he might just heal up for it as well. Wouldn't be surprised to see his Astro support head back. KP going to be able to dodge the Inkswell stun, but he's running deeper and deeper into the fire and flames as Monet is stacked up. Not only the goo, but also the quills. Easily gets the kill. Four to one. Aster taking a miss out on that one, but still, the pressure is already there. He's going to use this regen rune probably to. Kill the next creep wave. They can put nice tower damage in. KP is just doing some 
crazy shenanigans at this point in time. They still have the Inkswell stun to be able to stop his TP. Body blown up for five seconds. Legion Creep trying to save him. <laughs> tried to save him as they lost sight for a bit, but they do finally catch up to him and punish him for these kind of shenanigans. So these are the sort of things that a veteran are trying, especially as a bristleback. Given stacks, Talon's going to get here just in time to see that, oh, hey, Roshan's dead. They're here indeed inside the pit, and now he has some quails. Yeah, he, that was not the check you wanted to a point where they actually threaten these cores in the fight. Because if they can't threaten them, they're going to It's going to be a walk over crap. Literally just going to walk over the base and start hitting it. Yeah, Makoto doesn't have a TP. Oh no, relocate no. out. Hyde, he will potentially be giving up his life to uh, secure the Storm Dyer's Spirit. Top so, uh, is under sacrificial. They, they did show they three heroes bottom lane, so maybe they could do something on the other side of the map. Potentially, not a lot of power damage though. This is a play feature one. Gen can die for both in these types of situations. What are so you hard. on about? Dyer's middle you can see they're trying to set up for it, but yeah, they uh, want to. They pop out. Oh, another great use of the Tumblr's toy. Very potential on how much physical damage he can rack up when he gets the Magnum Scepter, especially later on when he gets the five talent. But they've also got the Viper, who uh, has that shard that is really good for free. Well, depends how early they want to try and force it. Radiant Savage is going to be forced into the grave here. It's called on that other side of the map, but this is just the Freedom Master hat. They can just run around, they can smoke wherever, leave any of their cores on the other side. Just a value unique ability here. The Viper with the early BKB. He's so hard to go on here. Banking for some early high ground here. Radiant just running into you, which under attack. maybe okay. after steel spawn up, dude, they have the blink on Tiny, it's cancelled. Yeah, it gets cancelled, and KP gets a decent ultimate off already. Being able to focus down Bobica while tossing up the bristle back in the air. The Storm Shield's gonna be able to follow that up. Gets he linked. instantly gets linked, really nice, but he does have the BKB. Oh, look at that physical damage! Monet just chunks him down, quick! They do have the coil on the back line, looks like Brutus three Savage is gonna be able to run away. Oh no, he lost all his rulings. Monet, that damage is just... Hit him so hard, he didn't even get the second one off. Talon, <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to play uh, in a game of hide and seek, hiding around Slow the side puck. lanes, but uh, immediately Ori with the haste just going to be diving right through all of Talon. Does manage to get the two man coil. 23 right, Savage is already dead. Rage. Storm Spear might as well just get all on out of here because the supports are probably dead. He was going to go for a long haul on out of here, but is going to be chased. Some item, you know, if you only have one source of control and builds an A on disc or BKB or Yules at some point, all of a sudden you have this hero that's just out of control in the fight. He goes in, gives vision. Exactly. The last drive from the Talon. Grid. If they can actually win this fight, maybe secure Roshan for themselves. It could be the start of a turnaround. They've already killed the Grimstroke support. They do have Savage. a just deep. Yeah, 23 Savage just being run down by the Bristle Bank. They do have the IO healing him up a little bit. Couldn't get the relocate out, though. Immediately stopped by both the Avalanche as well as Ori's coil. And they're going to make sure KG does get it off. Opportunity to, okay, he does actually get it off. Another primal split, and he will run away with that split. But ultimately, the fight's already over, and they can no longer contest that. All of Ty's XXS to get them rolling. Nice use of the Grim Stroke. I think this hero is a little underrated as well. High ground ward. They're going for the Brewmaster. He does have the Aeon Disc if he needs to, but the punk got silent. They do manage to get that kill, and they get the relocate back out. Q tries to roll away, the but a high ground long range swing from Monet finished them off. Ward, which Still is exactly what he's doing, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, the Earth Spirit and his team are chasing him here. Might be leading them right to the sniper. Or maybe they... Okay, Bobuka. He is going to turn around two-man avalanche, and uh, KP, he realizes this is not a fight to win anymore. They're going to leave behind Q. He's going to have to blow a primal split to try and get out of here. The Storm Panda. They do have a jump. He's going to be the one to look at a retreat here. They actually do find hide here in the trees with the coil. Nice pick up there from Mori. Space for Sniper. Space Man Sniper. Oh, yeah. Very fitting cosmetic here. It's true. But the mid lane is already pushed in. So the Sniper, like, he pushed out that bottom lane pretty nicely. But backdoor protection is off. And Monet's damage is absolutely absurd. Starts pummeling KP. And if he gets the right number of bashes, oh no, KP! He does have the Aeon Disc. Does pop the ultimate. And now maybe they've overextended themselves a little bit as Mikoto. He starts going for that puck with the assassinate. It's not quite enough damage. Oh no, and now he's running out of mana. Caught by the Grim Stroke as well. And the Primal Split is going to wear out. That meme wear out. <laughs> Nobody is left. He's not going to wait wait for it to wear out. He's <laughs> just going to set him to the early grave. 
they do get the relocate back for the sniper, Radiant's but what's back. the point of being the fountain if your whole base is exposed? And that is going to be a GG call to Aster. They had quite the run at the Arlington Major, and uh, they show up here at the very first match for ESL1 Malaysia. It seems like they really have not beat. They look in very good form.